Hello guys, welcome to the series of tutorials on scientific programming with MATLAB. Today we are going to see how to read the values from a sensor. Here is the circuit I am using. This is the Arduino and uh, th uh, this is the QTR one area sensor I am using for the demonstration purpose. We have uh, four pins for this sensor one is vcc 5 volts 3.3 to 5 volts and ground and control pin and the signal pin Cont we use the control pin uh, high to read the sensor values if it is low we cannot read the sensor values and s is the signal pin where we can read the values of the sensor now we are going to program it so for this tutorial i'm going to use arduino mega 2560 and i have initiated the arduino now we need to configure the pins one is the control pin and one is the source pin here is the control pin i'm using digital pin 9 as a output mode because we have to give a 0 or 1 for the control pin and I'm going to read the value as a analog so I'm uh, initiating a not analog pin as an input mode where we can read the values and now I have uh, make the digital pin 9 high so we can uh, read the sensor values here I am taking a variable value where I can store the values what I have read from the pin A0 now I have initiated a while loop value equals to read value read sorry read voltage A comma A0 this command read voltage which will read the voltage from the uh, how much voltage uh, the sensor is giving out from the uh, signal pin we can uh, read by using this statement there is one more command which I will show you uh, later in this tutorial to read the digital uh, value so I'm going to display that value and I'm uh, pausing it for 1 by 10 second so it will be it will not be a very faster now I am going to run this so here is our Arduino board and this is the QTR sensor this is having a IR transmitter and a photo receiver photo transistor which receives the IR signals and here it is having four pins one is it's not good yeah anyhow it is having four pins one is VCC and one is ground control pin and signal pin and So this is the control pin I have connected it to the digital pin 9 and I am reading the signal here with analog pin A0 here. Now we can observe the values here. So this uh, sensor the maximum capacity of this sensor is 3 millimeters not more than three millimeters if some abstract or something is nearby then uh, it can detect up to a distance of 3 mm we can use this uh, for uh, short distances not for long distances for long distances measuring uh, ultrasonic distance sensor is a very good uh, sensor for measuring the long distances so now when I uh, keep my hand nearby we can observe uh, the value is lower when I keep my finger uh, long distance from the sensor 
we are getting 4.2 and if I uh, come near a little it is 2 now it is 0 now we are going to see how to uh, measure the same voltages in a from a digital pin so everything is same just we need to configure one more pin as a digital input pin i'm using a, a digital pin 8 as an input mode and then a uh, same digital pin 9 1 to uh, read the value from the sensor and i'm initiating a variable value now i'm reading the same uh, signal from the sensor pin with this statement read digital pin a comma d8 so it is going to uh, read the digital values from the uh, sensor uh, but we don't have a analog to digital converter on on this sensor so uh, we are going to get a 0 to 1 value if we have a digital to analog converter in the uh, in in the sensor then we'll get 0 to 1024 which scales from uh, 0 to 5 volts to it will scale from uh, 0 to 5 volts to 0 to uh, 1024 but we don't have analog to digital pin converter but even though we can read the digital uh, uh, signal by uh, 0 or 1 state if we get uh, more than 3.3 volts we'll get a high state 1 state if we get um, uh, less than 3.3 uh, volts we'll get uh, a 0 state so let's run this So I'm using the same sensor again. Now uh, um, something went wrong. Hmm. Let's run this again. Yeah, sorry everything is correct but I just forgot to change the uh, pin so here is the control uh, so source pin or signal pin where we get the signal uh, uh, value from the sensor we need to connect it to digital pin 8 so now we can see uh, one here if uh, any obstacle is coming nearby it will be a uh, zero when you can observe the thing my finger when something is coming nearby it is 0 and it is far away it is 1 so this is how we can read the values of any sensor by using analog pin and digital pin thanks for your attention